welcome to Practical AI, everybody. My name's Jeff. I'm with Peter Lynn. Peter, uh, this week, Sam Altman seems to be at it again. Uh, the OpenAI CEO, founder, whatever, he's uh, now talking about getting into the chip business. Tell us a little bit about what he's up to. Yeah, he wants to basically build hardware that will basically enable OpenAI to have their own device. So something like a smartphone, but powered by AI. Okay. And that seems like a tall order. I guess if NVIDIA is awesome and it's hard for everyone to chase NVIDIA, what makes mm -hmm. Sam Altman think he can chase everybody else? Well, I think he's probably motivated by the fact that one, buying NVIDIA chips is expensive. And two, they're back order until middle of next year. <laughs> um, three, if you want it, if you want your own thing in the hands of consumers, do you really want to go through Android and iOS? because now you're playing in their walled gardens, right? So like, yeah, he could build an app, put it on Android and put it on iOS, but at the end of the day, he doesn't control that. Okay. Um, it's hard to be good at two things though, isn't it? Right? It's hard to be good at both software and hardware. Yeah. Um, now NVIDIA seems to be doing pretty well in both camps, but... Most people don't think of them as a software company. Right. And Apple, obviously, they've always been a hardware company. And um, many people think that they are a little bit behind when it comes to some of the AI innovation that's happening. Now, I wouldn't bet against Apple, but um, I would think going from hardware into software, either from build or acquisition perspective would be a heck of a lot interested or easier than going from software into hardware building, <laughs> like yeah. starting a hardware company. I mean, yeah. what they do with the chips and stuff, that's not, it's not easy stuff. No, it's, it's very hard. I mean, Intel has been trying to gain market share from the video for two decades. I mean, Intel's has had, at least three different projects to build the GPU. And the most recent one is the most successful one. They've had three prior ones that all failed. Um, so yeah, it's it's not easy. In fact, even AMD has a hard time. Like AMD is good at the hardware part, but they never had a competitor to NVIDIA's CUDA stack. So their software stack built for machine learning, for scientific computing, like all of that stuff, they've they've been working on that since like 2003, 2004. That's 20 years. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right. So surely Sam Altman and his friends have to know this. And the number like on that article, I said they want to raise $1 billion. Well, it's going to be more than one billion dollars. What? What's? Is there any something really happening here? Or is is this really just a stupid idea with a guy that's super naive? I don't think he's not naive. I think he's trying to position so that he can either a get more competition or b get a discount from the people providing the hardware. Because if you don't have an option, so it's like when when Linux first came on the scene. A lot of Microsoft shops, companies that use, that use Microsoft, use Linux as a bargaining chip of like, hey, um, you know, we're renewing for our office, uh, for our whole enterprise. This is a thing called Open Office. We're thinking about using that. <laughs> right. I mean, and that makes sense, and that's a really good point that 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 he could be, he could be doing some sort of positioning here, but. If I if I go to Honda and say, look, you better make your car cheaper or I'm going to introduce a flying car, Honda's going to say, go for it. Let's yeah. see that. I'd love to see that. 
And it's kind of the same, right? It's like, oh, really? The entire country of Taiwan is like positioned so that no one else can even do this. So like, what do you think you're going to do? Yeah, I mean, I don't think Sam wants to build his own foundry. He wants to build his own design firm, but a billion dollars probably, I mean, one, you have to attract the people and that's really hard. I mean, aside from people like Jim Keller and the people at TensorTorrent, people at NVIDIA, Intel, and AMD, it's just really hard to find someone with 20 to 40 years of like super hardcore hardware experience. I mean, like you, you don't just design a leading edge chip in one day or one week or even one year. I mean, NVIDIA is like roadmap. They're designing things today that's going to be released two to three years down the line. But do you think Jensen is shaking in his boots and is going to call up Sam Altman and say, you're right, I'll give you a better deal in the, on the <laughs> chips? No, no right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, like, I would say, I mean, Jensen, I think, saw what was coming when he, when he delivered the very first DGX to OpenAI. I think, you know, he, he saw the glimmer of what was, what was going to happen. Yeah. So, I mean, like, and that was... That's almost 10 years ago. Yeah, he had like a five-year head start at that point. It might now grow on to seven. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, at, I mean, back when I was in college, there was, a, there was a thing called a folding at home, which was you could do, you could use your computer, you could, you could download the software, and it would use your computer off hours to do protein folding. Mm. And, the, and then there's another project called SETI at home, which would take radio signals, and it would process it on your computer. And then when the video released CUDA, people said, hey, we can use CUDA to process SETI at home and folding at home. And so then they added support for CUDA. And magically, boom, performance went up 10, 20, 50 times. Right? So they've been working on like this scientific computing stuff for two decades now. They've had a huge head start. All right. Well, you think Sam will still be at this a year from now? Or you think this is just sort of... Well, I think he has to try. Whether he'll succeed or not, it's anyone's guess. Well, he's going to need more than a billion dollars, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll keep an eye on this one. Peter, thanks for uh, chatting this one up. Uh, be, sure to, be sure to like and subscribe, and we will try to keep topics uh, that are relevant and interesting. Take care, everybody.